Hello, Music Multiverse listeners. Welcome to Beyond Your Radio's album review Saturdays. This being episode 28. While we don't do this all the time, this week we decided we got to give you a video version. There's just too much. We got to get past the article section and dive into some other stuff. Tonight, we're talking about the Canadian singer-songwriter Bahamas' new album, Boot Cut. The incredible super syndicate of musicians that make up the fusion syndicate and their latest jazz progressive rock juggernaut, a speedway on Saturn's rings. And then Ripple Music's fantastically hard psych blues rocking outfit called the Dead Weathers. Or, sorry, Dead Weathers. Holy cow. Dead Feathers. New one called Full Circle. Again, Dead Feathers, Full Circle. I apologize to my friends at Ripple Music. Why do we do this video version? Well, sometimes I have guests. I got panelists coming on. Uh, but this one, uh, unfortunately, the grateful dude who is going to join me, who has listened to these three albums, uh, could not make it from his trip back from Scotland. He's under the weather and has lost most of his voice. The other reason I really do this is to add more albums at the end. And this week, this episode, stay to the very end. There are two really good records again put on top of this. If you are new to the program, thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. If you're a fan, a subscriber, and back again, well, I can't even begin to thank you. Please, if you like what we're doing, click that like button, uh, comment, subscribe. If you subscribe, you won't miss any of the content that we'll be putting out. So where do I start? I suppose the best place to start is with Bahamas, food cup. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm not a country guy. But you got to understand this journey with Bahamas started with me many years ago from his first album, which was called um, Bahamas is Affy. Obviously, Affy is his name. But uh, I even had to go back to Bar Chords in 2013, which was nominated for a Juno for Adult Alternative Contemporary. He has a beautiful voice, a genuine delivery, uh, powerful lyrics that felt real. This uh, unforced songwriting and well-captured minimal instrumentation studio production really made him an instant favorite to me and to see what was doing next. I have been on this path now for several years. So when Boot Cut came out, when I saw the cover and the title, I guess I should have known he was switching genres or moving into the country genre. However, I knew that that would have something in it for me. So Boot Cut is probably the most excellent example in his entire catalog of really uh, engaging the songwriting style and delivery. No, I didn't realize it was straight up alt country record that Merle Haggard, uh, Waylon Jennings, um, even maybe a little Willie Nelson, right? Considering the harmonic guy he is from Willie Nelson's band. This album has a unique country island feel in the musicianship for several songs. Hell, you might even think it's Jimmy Buffett in some cases, on the tuning. Affy bends things so modestly, but never repents on the songwriting. That genuine feel and humanity is there from start to finish. Even in the bothersome opening track, you'll understand why I'm calling it that, because his daughter is in three, kind of stopping him from progressing, and he leaves that in the album. While I think that's kind of a mistake at the beginning, I get the idea. There's a hint of this alternative, but it's more a ghost in this album, leaving the heart and cut of it to the steel guitar and the emotions. Then, at the end of the album, there's Nothing Blows My Mind. It's just minimalistic steel pedal guitar and piano contemporary that has always drawn me to him. Beautiful way to end the record. Obviously, Rolling Stone has been talking about it for the last few days, so don't take my word for it, considering I'm not a country lover. But Rolling Stones certainly seem smitten with it. And let's face it, a trip to the Bahamas is expensive, where a trip to this album might only cost you $11.69 on CD and $22.89 on vinyl. Again, that's Bahamas Boot Cut, alt country record featuring Afi, uh, I think it's Jervinen, would be my pronunciation of that. He does the vocal guitar. Vince Gill is also on the record. Uh, along with Russ Powell's playing pedal steel maestro, Dave Rose bass, and Mickey Raphael harmonica, who was with Willie Nelson. 
Next up, let's talk about, oh my gosh, this crazy fusion syndicate. Now, I realize that the production probably came in multiple years, as I noticed that one of the artists on there is actually deceased about almost five years now. This one's been waiting, but still, let's this cast list, right? It's like a Steven Soderbergh film. Let me just break it down for you, all right? Some of these people you may not know, but if you don't know some of these people, you need to go down a rabbit hole. Al Dimiola, Ya Wobble from Public Image Limited. You got Chester Thompson from Genesis and Brand X. Chris Poland from Megadeth. Rick Wakeman, hmm, yes. <laughs> Angelo Moore from Fishbone. Bootsy Collins from Parliament. Brian Jackson, cool in the gang. Les Nubians and Jill Scott Heron. Fernando uh, Perdomo, I think he was dreaming in stereo. Uh, Carmine Apis is Cactus, Blue Murder, King Cobra, Rod Stewart, Vanilla Fudge. You got Jan Ackerman. Do I even need to say who he's with or what he is? He by himself is a genius. He got he was also with the band Focus. Steve Stevens, well, guitarist with Billy Idol, if you don't know. Alfonso Johnson from Weather Report. Jerry Goodman from Mahavishnu Orchestra. You got Nick Turner from Hawkwind. Jimmy Haslip from uh, Yellow Jackets. You've got Jordan Rudis from Dream Theater, Liquid Tension Experiment. Mel Collins from King Crimson. Colin Edwin from Porcupine Tree. Billy Cobham from Mahavishnu Orchestra. We've talked about Billy on the show before. Jay Beckenstein from Spyro Gyro. Billy Sheehan, uh, Stevie Vai's band, I think. Uh, Gavin Harrison, Porcupine Tree. David uh, Sancius, he's from the E Street Band. And then Larry uh, Coriel, who died in 2017, jazz guitarist. Derek Sheeranen from um, Dream Theater, Black Country Communion. And uh, Eric Marenthal, who's with Chick Corea's Electric Band. Don't know how any of this is possible to get this many people jammed in a record, but by God, they did it. And this is the second time they've done it. Obviously, I'm pretty sure they changed the lineup, but I, I really didn't go back to the prior record. It's ridiculous, right? Fabulously talented musicians all in one album. This is like a we are the world of jazz rock progressive nature. When they um, when they met Fusion Syndicate, they were not joking. Look like all the musicians in this mind blowing syndicate. It's 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 still mind blowing to me. I'm still listening to this record and picking out certain pieces of the artistry. Okay, now that you have the general scope of the talent in the room, I'm going to review something, but let's listen to two of the recordings uh, that we have here. I'm going to play uh, Blasting Off, and that has Jan Ackerman, and then Molecular Breakdown. Okay, you got the jazz, you got the funk, you got rock, you got progressive rock, met in space, had some swanky gravity-bound speedway on certain planets' rings. You have to assume that you're in for a barrage of musical genres, improvisational masterpiece that's going to come track by track, artist by artist, you know, intermingled virtuosity with some extremely far-out symphonic tricks, keyboard wizardry, and brassy music balls worthy of David's, uh, sorry, Davis's brewing. Get yourself on this spaceship, buy the ticket to get there. Thank God it doesn't take 829.43 million miles to get to this bonanza. 
All you got to do is get to a record store or go online. Get yourself ready because there is only one misplaced track on this album. And while I love Bootsy Collins, I just don't think it was placed in in there correctly. And I think it's the only single that came from the record. Um, this is an ultimate fusion album reminding you what the true com encompassing of fusion can be. There's a lot to digest and these brave souls from all walks of instrumental life truly engage, trying almost impossibly to make sure each genre gets equal share, leaving the audience's ear as the final music multiverse judge as to whatever it is to do so. I, for one, believe they have truly done so. Mission accomplished. I guess I'll see them on the throwdown on Neptune's moons. Yeah, if they use that title, I'm hoping to get some cash. Awesome, fun record. Definitely pick this up if you're in the rock, jazz, progressive rock arena. Finally, for those from the articles, Dead Feathers, Full Circle. I know it's not much of a name. Hell, you might even think it should have already been chosen from, you know, back in the day. But what is a name anyway? Oh, wait a minute. I think we have a show about that. Well, that's for another day. The Dead Feathers waste no time making you know they got the fuzz, rock and roll down pat. Their, their guitars pretty much say it all, hinting a little at psychedelia, and they can even linger in a luscious riff to make you sure that you got that guitar groove down. It is seasoned in a Jefferson Starship-like mojo, thanks to the vocal styles of Marissa Allen Wailu. I think now she's Marissa Willu, W-E-L-U. She might have just gotten married. It summons your attention. She summons your attention. And I immediately was smitten that it was unique. It's loud. It's nearly like teetering in an understudy from an opera. Her note can hang. It can jolt. It can certainly deliver the lyrics above the crunch, above the crush, above the fuzz of her genuine bandmates playing feverishly with her. When you get to Daughters, you're going to realize the true reach and scope of this band. They can be slow, moody, haunting. Hell, there's a finger-picking finale at the Galapagos. Underscored, yet sometimes blistering. As in their title track, Circle. Whether it's through the powerful vocals, which have made, you know, my vote right now for the best vocal in rock for the year, you will start to notice the waverings. Yeah, that wah-wah in the background, the layers of rhythms as you're caught up in song's pace, and then a, how it relates to the overall album. You will start to imagine how they might be live. If you're like me, you start searching, wondering why they haven't gone over to the East Coast yet. But I'm sure that's coming because this is a ridiculously good album. And Ripple Music loves to deliver this stuff. The boys at Ripple really did a great job. If you miss Grace Slick, this is your in. If you love good old-fashioned hard blues rock that teeters on psychedelic edge, you like ebb and flow in your guitars, 
Ripple Music has delivered dead feathers on a gorgeous silver platter for your utter indulgence. This will be a record that will grow on you with each listen and bring you back full circle to that hard rock 70s rawness that set the music world on its fuzzy psychedelic stoner path, where today, so many talented bands are venting, reinventing, and crushing riff after riff in wild, vivacious variety. And now, that moment, the reason you've been watching, maybe, what are these two albums I'm about to talk about that are going beyond this article? Our first up is Horon, H-A-U-R-U-N, their debut, Wilting Within, from Small Stone Records, which is another great finder and develop of a really good rock band's standard psychedelic and fuzz. And that's what they've given us here, with a giant twist, a vocalist with an otherworldly style, maybe that of Mazzy Star-ish, if you will. Let's take a listen to Lost and Found, and then Tension. Easy. Get the idea? That's beautiful. Ghostly, spiritual tune delivery is like an intoxicating herb in the meld of sludge doom being laid all around it. That's Lyra Cruz on vocal. You've got Joey Paul Lacey on bass. Danielle Sh uh, Schwitzerski on guitar. Joel Panton on guitar. And Elliot Rennie on drums. This comes from their band page, just so you get the idea. Wiltering Within is a journey through layers of slow-burning verses and expanding choruses, infused with the enchanting power of Lyra's vocal. Horon, or Horon, transcends genre, blending the hypnotic riffs of doom metal and the gritty essence of grunge to deliver a fresh sound, casting psychedelic spells on the listener. I know I was spellbound. This debut is another contender from top 23 albums of 2023 and a complete lovely surprise in the genre. Finally, what cannot be said about Hedvig Malstad Trio? In September 1st, they dropped the album Weejun, W-E-E-J-U-N. Describing the guitar virtuosity of this Norwegian is like trying to describe the talents of Buckethead. What can't she do? What can't this trio that she builds do in the framework of jazz, sludge, and even hard rock metal? This is cataclysmic recording, just like that of Ding Dong, You're Dead, which came back in 21, which was in my best albums of 2021. They're back and they're creepier than ever. Let's take a listen to Go At Your Peril, and then I'll give you the last well the middle track which is in a big opus called i'll give you 21.
I mean, this is one hour and 19 minutes of solid, mind-messing, jazz, metal, rock, avant-garde, from the guitarist to uh, that drummer, all Ole, 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 I think, uh, and um, organs and synths being played by uh, Mr. Starlet Pen. Oh, my God. This live album is completely off the cream, Crimson Radar Reservation. Maybe it's uh, it's heavier. It's just... It's like if, if they're bludgeoning King Crimson, you know, flickering its debris at the likes of Miles Davis's evil and maybe tipping the boiling pot of Goblin. Okay, now I'm scared. If you like it dark, you like your improv, sludge, jazz, fusion, duh, I think you're all in already. If you don't, you should listen anyway. You probably need to step off your cozy coal train, your Charlie Hunter. Don't get me wrong, I love these guys or your Oscar Peterson. Get Weijin. I don't even know what that means, and I'm getting it. I'm scared of it, too. Anyway, we're here every Saturday for Album Review Saturdays in article format on our website at www.beyondyourradio.com or on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And bands, if you are watching, you can always hit me up to be on the show, talk about at any point in time. I certainly respect everything that you do and the beauty that you make for the music multiverse every single day with every sound or every record or every live show. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Happy listening.